Today we are going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the large claw machine from Alibaba. So this one's all set up and so are those two, but I'm going to give you the full demonstration. Basically when you get this machine it comes all bubble wrapped and then there's a zip tie it all at the top but you have to be very careful unzip tying it. So to start off, there's four zip ties. There's one there, two on the claw, and then one back here. But it's very hard to cut these two because they tie them so tight. Like if you look closely, there's another cord right there, right here. That one's important, you cannot cut it. So they make it <laughs> next to impossible because you have to cut that without cutting that cord. So it's very tricky. Same with this side. If you see that other cord wrapped around up there to right by the zip tie. I'm gonna cut this carefully and then I'll show you after. But you have to cut the zip ties before you turn the machine on. Very important. That gets a lot easier as you do it with 33 machines. So I got all four zip ties off. I laid down the claw. And now we can turn it on down here, bottom, and the key for the bottom door. And then around here comes the key for the top, but I already opened that. All right, so to turn it on, you want the single line on, and then you'll go back around to the front. Close this up. And then you flip it on the double one. You can't turn the volume down all the way, but you can turn it off completely down here. There's a little red one and a little blue one, and I'm just gonna wiggle it out, pull it out. And then I'm taking these two cords so they don't do anything and just tucking them back behind. And now that loud sound is off. <laughs> just because if you could hear all of this sound, like it just gets annoying and they're all not synced. We like to turn off all the sounds and then just play in our own music. And also if this is just going into one location, not necessarily an event or an arcade, then we typically keep the volume on low, but some of our machines, the volume or the music just plays when the player puts in money. But for this one, it just automatically will play the whole time. So we unplug it and just turn it off completely just cause it gets annoying for the customers in there or the employees. So now that that's off, we're gonna go into the settings in the free play mode. So down here, there is a red button and a yellow button and the red button takes you into settings. So I'm gonna push that and we're in settings. Okay, so at first it comes up in Spanish, but if you just move the joystick to the right, it takes it to English and then there's of course back and forth. So we're keeping it in English and then it has the basic settings, game music, setting coins. So we do, for this, to set the coin, you're gonna go up. Or, nope. So you just play around with it, but for the coin, we're gonna put it on four coins because we're gonna make it a dollar play. And then credit, you would move left to right if you want to change the credit. So for a dollar, it would give you two credits, but we do a dollar play. So yeah. And then to set it, you just hit the button. And then coin keep, keep that off. Game time, however, we like to do 40 seconds. We don't really typically touch anything else, but now we're going into game mode. Win rate, you have win rate, you can set it to whatever you want. Vending mode, it's off, yeah. And then you can go back. Claw settings, you've got the claw strength. So this we typically put on like 40, 45, depending on what product goes in our machine, depending on how heavy the product is. Like if it's something full of beans, it's a lot heavier than a plush that's just stuffing. So the claw strength depends, but for example, if I'm doing this, you can hold it up and it'll actually test it for you. So let me set this up and show you what I mean by that. Okay, so to test it, you know, you want it to be strong enough to hold it. So this one's pretty heavy, but that can hold it. So once you get your strength all the way up, it doesn't matter how high you set this, as long as it's strong enough, like I said, to hold the stuffed animal and to not drop it. If it drops, even with you holding it all the way up on the joystick, then you need to make it stronger. And I'm pretty sure this machine can only go up to 48 in strength. 
Okay, so yeah, 48. I don't know what I'm putting in here yet. And then the weak voltage has weak voltage and weak voltage A. So the weak voltage, you're gonna want it to be able to hold it, but for it to kind of just slip out just barely, that's how it's gonna look like it just kind of falls out. Oh, same thing with the weak voltage. You're gonna push the claw up and it'll be able to test it. So like this. That's extremely, extremely weak. We don't ever put it that low. But again, it's for you to mess around with. I'm just showing you how to do it. That'll be able to test if it's strong enough to hold your product. And then you're gonna go down to weak voltage A and you're gonna wanna set it the same. And then strong time. Strong time is extremely important. So it's basically the time in which it picks up the stuffed animal and drops it before it moves. So you're not gonna want a claw that's gonna pick it up and right when it gets to the top, it drops it because that's gonna look extremely right. So you're gonna want it about one, two, like two and something seconds, you know, depending on how big your claw machine is and everything. Honestly, we've been putting it on 1.8. It depends, again, on every product you have in there. I'll change this according to what I put in here as well. Strong time's very important because if it's just gonna be strong enough for half a second and drop it right there, that's gonna look very bad. But like I said, if it's strong enough, long enough, it's not gonna look that rigged. Strong to weak is on one. Rope length, how long it's gonna go down. Just keep that on what it comes at. And then, claw speed. You could slow it down so that it's not bouncing all over the place, but I mean, the faster it is, the more it's gonna look like the product just slips out compared to it literally going like this, really slow, dropping it, and going slow. Compared to if it's just like really fast bouncing. You know what I'm saying? So you kinda want that up high. Um, five's the highest it comes on. We'll keep it on five. And for everything else, that's pretty much it. So then we just go out and we hit back and that takes us to the playing mode. So that was the red button. Now the yellow button will add you credits. So now we have credits to play. So that's still really, really strong. That's pretty much how you set it up. Then it comes down to the bill acceptors and the coin mix. So these you have to change for, Euro for US currency. So for the bill acceptor, I've just got it memorized from all the machines we do. But if you can kind of see, okay, so I don't know if you could see it, but you have to flip these little switches. I'll wait for it to not be red. These little switches on the side of the bill acceptor, you switch number one on and number five on. So I flip the one on and the five on. So this bill acceptor is good to go. And now we have to set up the coin mix. So if you see, there's three buttons down here. To start, you're gonna push the bottom two at the same time for three seconds. So one, two, three. One, two, three. So now it says E, we want it to say E1. And then you're gonna hit the top button and hold it for three seconds to set it. Two, three. H1, if you can see. So H1, we wanna put to the number of coins that we set it at. So we wanna put it on 20 and we'll hit the bottom left until it gets to 20. So this is basically the number of times that you're gonna put in your quarters to test it or your um, dollar coins, which we're just doing, we're just doing quarters on this location. But if you ever go over, if you hit this back button, it'll change it and go back one. And then you hold it for three seconds to set it. One, two, three. And then it brings you to P1, which P1 is talking about the pulse. You want to put that on one. Then you hold down the top again to set it. One, two, three. And now it says F1. F1, we're going to put at eight. Hold it down. One, two, three. And then it flashes and it should say zero. So once you did all that and it says zero, you're going to turn the machine off and on. Just give it about three seconds and when you turn it on you're gonna hit the top button and just push it twice a a1 and when it's on a1 this is when you then put in your 20 quarters this is basically just meaning like it's reading each quarter that you put in so i'm gonna just shut this for a sec got 20 quarters right here just because we've been doing this to every single coin mech on all of these machines we're gonna put in the 20 quarters So opening it back up, it should read as zero because I already put in 20 coins and then I turn the machine off and on and now the coin mech should be set up. So I'm going to take out four quarters and test it just to make sure it's all working good. So it gave me one credit. 
And now for the review part of the machine, I'll just take you guys over to this one. So as you can see, it just from the outside, it looks super good. There is a little bit of a gap back here, but it's not that big of a deal. No one's gonna really get a mess with that. The LED part, the joystick, super good, super durable. And there's like little decals, an LED bill acceptor, and then a decal for the prize chute. And it's very deep back there. Got the speaker down here. Take me home is what it says. And we didn't notice this till later, but it doesn't say Crazy Toy 2. It's CP AZY. <laughs> So I think that was a mess up from China, but again, with all these machines, you'll likely get something like that. But for the most part, you know, they come perfect. So yeah, if you want to see any other reviews of any other machines that we have here, then comment them down below. And if you're interested in seeing how much this whole arcade makes or just more details about how we got this location, got it all set up and other things like that, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow our YouTube channel and you will see more content about our Halloween arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye guys.